everybody. It is time for another getting cozy in the kitchen with Candace and I am making jalapeno popper deviled eggs. I'm gonna use my quick cooker. You guys, I use this for everything. So it doesn't take any time at all. I'm gonna get started. It does take a few minutes in the quick cooker, like uh, five. <laughs> so uh, let's get started. I'll take my quick cooker, I'll add the rack and I will put in six eggs. And I just pulled these right out of the fridge and they're nice and cold. You can use fresh eggs if you want to. These things have been sitting here for a little while. Take a cup of water, pour in a cup of water, put the lid on, and I am gonna set the timer to custom. And time down to five minutes. This is probably the te most tedious thing you'll do all day long, if that's it. Push the start button, and in, five, in a couple of minutes, it's going to pressurize, it's gonna get started, it's gonna count down. You Then when it beeps, it'll count up 10 minutes, and then release the pressure. And uh, that's it, and we'll be back. It doesn't, like I said, doesn't take any time at all. So uh, if you are loving uh, Cozy in the Kitchen with Candace, like and share my page. Um, if you enjoy this, uh, <laughs> check out my YouTube videos and stuff like that. There's all kinds of videos for all kinds of quick cooking all the time. We will be right back when this is all finished. All right guys, we are back with our eggs and I've gotten a few things prepped in the meantime, uh, but we are doing jalapeno popper deviled eggs. So incredibly good. Um, we're going to just release the rest of the steam off of our quick cooker. Um, and that dot's gonna go down. The red dot, the dot of doom is what I call it. Pull the lid right off. And set that over to the side. Now all I've done is I got a bowl of ice water and we are going to put these right down into the ice water. Give them a quick ice bath. And that quick cooker goes off for another day. Um, I actually did a batch beforehand, so I'm going to get one of these out. This one's been ice bath for just oh, five or 10 minutes or so. So you'll give it a quick snap on the countertop. You know how hard it is? to peel an egg when it's cold or um, after you pull it out of the um, after you pull it out of, of the stove and all that kind of stuff. Not these. These are amazing. They're so awesome. Uh, they just peel right off uh, and everything. They're just so great. So great. You'll never put eggs uh, in any again. So give them a quick rinse. Slice them in half. Pop out the yolks. And you see, I've done a few already. Put them in a Ziploc bag and then set these eggs off to the side because they are ready to be filled. I always do one or two extra because sometimes I tear them up uh, trying to get the, uh, the yolks out real easy or um, somebody in the house, not mentioning any names, might come by, uh, grab one on the way out the door and then you have an odd number of eggs. I just, so all I'm gonna do uh, with these eggs, I'm gonna let, the, like I said, I'm gonna let these set five or 10 minutes before I crack into them. And all I'm gonna do with these egg yolks is just put them in a Ziploc bag and break them up. So you wanna get them broke up before you add any stuff to them because if you try to do that with all your goodies in there, you're gonna be a mess. Uh, I chased these little dots around uh, the mayonnaise and sour cream mixture forever and finally said, forget it. I'm not messing with it anymore. See, look, look how broke up those get so fast. So fast, like broke up, like Sonny and Cher. So add a little bit of mayonnaise to the mixture. And in this one, since I am using whole jalapenos or, or fresh jalapenos, I'm not using canned jalapenos, um, I am gonna add a little bit of sour cream to this mix. Give, tone that down just a little bit. I want it to, I want it to have flavor, but I don't want it to just 
light your world on fire. So I'm gonna say, oh, I'm probably using about a quarter cup of each. I'm going to zip that and just knead that right into the eggs. Get that nice and incorporated in there. The best part about this is that we're gonna come back we're gonna add these extras to it. We are gonna add all kinds of other tasties to it. So, I've got that all mixed up really nice. Look how pretty that is. So pretty. All right, and I am going to add shredded cheese, bacon bits. I love bacon. So I've got a lot of bacon bits in this one today. So, in the end, all I've done is I've taken two jalapenos, uh, cord them and pull the seeds out and I am going to put these uh, in through the, the quick chopper really fast. My fingers are so sensitive that I that uh, touching jalapenos and scooping the noodles out of the jalapenos with my hands uh, will light my fingers on fire and they'll be on fire for hours. They're, they will hurt so bad that it just, it just makes me really, makes me really upset. And so, anyway, back to that. We are going to take our jalapenos and scoop those in. I'm gonna use some tongs. Put it in there. Like I said, just knead it around some more. The best part about this Ziploc bag, it zips, so none of your goodie come out. <laughs> none of your goodie comes out. Anyway, I'm gonna finish these other eggs up and I'll be right back. We're gonna take these, show you how easy this is to get it open. Give it a quick crack. I'm telling you, the shells just come right off. So I've prepped a whole bunch of others, so we're gonna show you how these things come together so fast. I know that I showed you a lot of the other um, ingredients that I put in the little Ziploc bag. Just pop those right out and they're going to go into this Ziploc bag with the rest of the stuff. So get those all laid out. And yes, we've had uh, some little sneaky fingers that have already been in this. So put that together, zip it shut along with the cheese, the bacon, the jalapenos, a little bit of sour cream, because like I said, these are late jalapenos, so they are uh, gonna be a little bit spicy. So I wanna want, I don't want the spicy to just really shine through. I want them to be uh, extremely tasty, creamy, and people to come back after more. So I have got two trays of these, and we are actually going to get out um, the cool and serve tray, and I'm gonna get just the top piece off of that. Pull that top piece out and take these eggs. We're gonna put them right in here. And we are actually going to serve it with um, some other items today. So we're gonna put little cups of uh, uh, ranch dressing and blue cheese dressing. Serve those, you can serve them with uh, ribs and all kinds of stuff. Cut the tip off your, your egg mixture. And you're gonna pipe these right in incredibly fast. Now you can top these with circles of jalapenos. You can top them with the normal, um, with the normal, uh, whatever that red stuff is. Anybody know what that red stuff's called? Yeah. So. Awesome. And that's it. You'll take these and you can mix this, those with uh, any extra eggs you have left. Perfect little egg salad. And how gorgeous are those? They are so incredibly tasty too. Like I said, a little slice of jalapeno, a little bit of seasoning on top. Uh, and then you'll take this bottom piece right here, put in your cool and serve trays, add this to the top. Put your lid on and you this will set out and stay cold for uh, four or five hours. There's fantastic. Uh, guys, thank you so much for getting comfy, cozy in the kitchen with Candace. 
Guys, thank you so much for getting cozy in the kitchen with Candace. I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, like my page, uh, share it on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. <laughs> I have a business page. It's all cozy in the kitchen with Candace. Y'all have a great, great afternoon.